tonight. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Green Bay Packers and the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even... Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the MVP of the National Football League in 2018, the former Texas Tech Red Raider, Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brings up second and five. They'll run, this is Jonathan Taylor. Number 28. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. For Darryl Patterson. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And their quarterback, well, everyone knows he's got height, standing at 6'6". And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And now it's third down. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Hey, 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And that one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's second and inches. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. The former third overall pick, Quentin Williams there to bring him down. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He may try and run for this. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. Here we go now on first and goal. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And that's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Well, also a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So they'll likely get a few more drives before we see the second team. But a good start for the first unit with three points. Yeah, good start. And now they want to see them build on it because you're exactly right. They'll get a few more drives at this stage of the preseason. Can they continue to evolve and add to what we just saw in the first drive? The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. 
they should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan in on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves out that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of two yards. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Cardinals three. Packers nothing. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Taylor. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. 38 yard line. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a game well, one of the ways the quarterbacks yards. keep all the receivers alive in a play, Packers. never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Taylor. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Fourth down now after a loss of two. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. is Josh Lambeau for the field goal try. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Oh, 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing middle, and it's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. At the Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. You don't see too many pass catching fullbacks nowadays, partner. In fact, you don't see too many fullbacks, period. Good news, though, he does have decent hands, and we saw it right there on display. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, Someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. They'll look to throw again. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he's got this down to the 35. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Leads to second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Fired that one in there, able to make rush coming, and he's taken down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And his kick is indeed good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Makes the score. Cardinals 6. Packer is 3. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now it's seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. First down, Mahomes buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, here's Taylor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. 
first kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been fun to watch run the football. We know he can pass, but using his legs effectively here in this one. No doubt about it. Watch him maneuver in the pocket, out of the pocket, making the plays that he's making, which are breaking down the defense. I thought back to when we had our morning jog before the game, and I couldn't keep up with you. Those legs, they're valuable for his team. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. So the illegal forward pass also costs them a down, and now it's second and long. On the give, this is their fullback. Give him four yards there, and that should be the final play of this first half. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Most teams in the league hitting the three-quarter pole in the preseason. The whole league will be in action next Thursday night to wrap it all up. And then we start for real a week after that with the NFL kickoff game. In our game, expect to see the starters for at least one more drive. Something to look forward to as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. They'll roll him out right. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escaping. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On play action, they'll throw. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And to give this time to the tailback. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Julian Blackman on the tackle. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Packers' 22-yard line. 
steps away. And he's going to keep it here. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And the pressure gets to him again. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. And his kick is good. And the lead will increase to six now. It's nine to three. After his three. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Number 12. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Second down at the 24-yard line. Now Mahomes. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Brought down back at the point. How good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call. Here's Mahomes to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Green Bay. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. There's a nice move. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They're going to look to throw to Jefferson on the slam. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. If you're going to blitz, likely going to be in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. But it'll be second down. It's second down and 10. From off of play action. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. From the gun, it's from. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12-3. to three. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, put a little time while it's some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Rolling to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. A loss of three yards. Yes. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. the sack they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13 and now a first chance for the backup here to throw they'll try and set up the screen it's complete 
And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Well, plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well. But it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about. And that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead. And what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes or their athletic ability just takes over. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And now following the desperation turnover on downs, they're set up with a first and goal to go. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. 52 the mark, boy, 52. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Once more, they turn to Patterson. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. I mean, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Brings up fourth. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. Makes the score Cardinals 15. Is three. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. The 27-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Number 88. The Packers on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. Here it's third and two. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. First down, Green Bay. Back to throw now on first down. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Caleb on chase up. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Number 82, out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. The football going back over to Arizona now. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On first down, Patterson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Patterson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. That one, a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. And at the 31-yard line. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.